Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Thought I'd do the video while it was still light. Because I usually make them after, after dark. Actually, it's gotten to be one of my things is making the video after dark. But it's so beautiful right now, I just thought I'd, I'd do it while it was still light so you could kind of take a walk along the beach with me. So anyway, let me introduce myself. My name is Kent. The channel is EOS San Diego. And I make a nightly video about the EOS blockchain. Uh, to me, the most valuable blockchain in the world, the most valuable project in the world, simply because of the speed that the blockchain operates at and all the functions of the EOS blockchain, including airdrops, uh, RAM trading, uh, building dApps, everything. It just has an incredible amount of versatility. And of course, we're building the challenge dApp on that blockchain, the EOS blockchain the blockchain that does everything as far as blockchains are concerned and I've talked a little bit listened to a little bit about people and of course my son made a really nice video today uh, called uh, challenge on the challenge uh, DAC station he made a video today about the challenge DAC he did a really nice job he laid it out so if you're wanting to understand how a DAP works what a DAP is versus what a DAC is uh, go ahead and watch his video because he gives he gives a lot of detail. He's been in uh, cryptocurrencies for a long time, and he understands them and he really likes it. It's his passion is the blockchain. He talks about it all the time. And of course, he and I talk about it together, and it's really a nice way for he and I to to uh, to communicate with each other. Uh, father son that enjoy talking about something. A lot of father sons love talking about cars or a lot of father sons talk about different projects we are father son uh, that talk about the blockchain <laughs> so I guess we're probably a little bit little unique than, than most people because uh, I'd say the blockchain takes up about 80% of our conversation uh, I don't know if that's good or bad but it's the way it is we both love the blockchain so anyway I want to talk a little bit tonight and he did a little bit of explanation about the challenge DAP and how it works and what we're doing with the Challenge app. Um, what we're doing with the Challenge app is we're creating uh, really what they would call augmented reality by having a way to challenge somebody to do something. Not virtual reality, which is when you got the complete screen around you and everything's involved within the apparatus that you're seeing. This is augmented reality, so you're actually influencing reality through some sort of uh, an event, some sort of a, a, an exchange of tokens. So you're able to influence behavior. Uh, and the first is, of course, a workout challenge, which to us was an easy way to introduce this to the community and introduce this to the blockchain because it's, it really boils down to just three things. Uh, you coming on, making account, the person that you're engaging with has to make an account, and then you can both exchange or stake the tokens, uh, the, 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 the challenge tokens, on this uh, smart contract that we're developing, that we'll be developing. And then of course the third part is just having a, a GPS, a phone, to track the location where you need to go in order to, uh, in order to uh, fulfill the contract or the conditions of the contract. So it's a really easy, uh, simple uh, DAP application to build. And of course it operates on the blockchain which makes it extra special because it's unique in that way. And then it also that uh, you're able to uh, exchange um, um, a reward, a token back and forth on that, uh, on the blockchain for that. So that's our first challenge. Uh, it will, will release very soon on our Telegram channel in a beta format. The reason we have to do beta is because we want to make sure it works well. We want to make sure there's no security issues and we want to make sure that Everything uh, works well on a small, on a, in a small group of people without having a lot of people using it and having something not work properly. We're able to control a little bit better with a smaller group of people. And of course, this is operating on a blockchain. So this is operating in a decentralized environment with on servers around the world and it's recorded and um, it's, uh, it's forever. I mean, it is. I mean, you know, everything on the blockchain is forever, and I've talked about that before. The blockchain continues to grow. 
the blockchain continues to acquire information and the blockchain lives on forever because it's decentralized and it is uh, not any place that oversees the uh, uh, any of these systems, any of these exchanges, any of these environments, any of these contracts are not overseen by any other parties. Uh, this is strictly blockchain technology. And I believe, and this is probably the essence of the video tonight, is how new and how uh, innovative this is. I, In fact, I had a friend of mine call me the other night from Australia, um, and he told me that he's in IT in Australia, and he tells me how few people that he works with actually understand the blockchain and that's that's pretty typical of so many people they technically do not understand the blockchain and of course that's to be understood because most people don't understand technical issues I can understand that I mean I'm kind of a half techie kind of guy I understand just about enough probably to get by but I'm not going to be sitting down and developing smart contracts I probably will leave that to somebody else but uh, I understand enough to develop small projects or have some hand in it but most people will never get that at that level but most people will be able to understand being able to exchange value on the internet especially through a decentralized exchange where you can have exchanges where you can be anonymous and be able to trade and be able to make a profit that will be something people will understand uh, to be able to go and make an have an exchange and have a profit so when it gets to the level I can go on, I can buy an airdrop for a fraction of a penny. And then when the market goes up, I can sell my airdrop for maybe a penny or five cents and I can make four or five times my money. I think that will be when people start to really start to understand the blockchain and how simple it is and how well it works, especially without having the third parties involved and all the account information and all the other stuff that gets involved with with uh, with tr trading and exchanging monetary values on the internet. So yeah, this is this is something new, this is something unique, and this is something that once people kind of start to understand it, they won't worry so much about the technical side of it because the technical side of it, it's like everything else. I mean, you don't need to be a mechanic to drive a car. All you need to know is how to put it in drive, and that's kind of the way this is. All you need to know is how to put it in drive and everything else is going to be taken over for you. And that's what's going to happen here very soon. The other thing about something like EOS, and I thought I was listening to a video the other night, and a gentleman was talking about uh, when he inv got first involved with EOS, that it, or not EOS, but I think Bitcoin, that it, it went up significantly, and um, quite a bit. Not, you know, like 10, 12 fold, but it went up, you know, quite a bit. Maybe five, six fold, five, six you know, times its money. And he said he started, he said it was so exciting for him, he told everybody. And people still didn't really listen, even though it had gone up that much. They said, well, that's nice, but uh, it's, uh, it still looks like it's a little bit uh, out there for most people, and I don't think it's a good idea, so on and so forth. But he said it really, people got interested when it went up 100 and 200 times, it's, or 200 times, 300 times, 400 times, 500, kind of like Ethereum did, kind of like Bitcoin did in, in uh, the uh, latter part of last year. When it starts going up into the thousands of percent, that's when people really start to pay attention. And um, that will happen. And when that happens, you're gonna get a lot of people jumping off. And unfortunately, what happens, when those huge appreciations come in, those are usually times where it does make a pullback. So a lot of people get stuck at those higher prices. But in the case of EOS,